Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. War here. Today, I'm going to go over my version 1.0 for Frozen Orb Sorceress in Season 4. This build is absolutely amazing, and I used it to transition out of World Tier 3, which was really, really good because I got the Frozen Orbit power, which was a pretty good power. Um, and then we happened to find Fractured Glass, so I just stayed in it, and I'm going to stay in this build until the end end game and i'm going to use it to farm everything else that i need for other builds that i'm going to showcase to you guys but today i wanted to just showcase version 1.0 and this is going to be the version that you're going to that you're going to use like up to 75 which is where i am now before you really start to transition into the end game so i'm going to go over all the gear pieces the skills the few paragon boards that we actually have and some alternatives to some of the uniques that i have because we got really lucky on some drops yesterday during our like 12 hour stream so uh, let's get right into this real quick frozen orb it's very self-explanatory i know you guys seen this from the ptr and a previous video that we've done but i want to go over what i've been using and it's just been working flawlessly and i really do enjoy this build yes it did get a small nerf but that's okay it still functions the same it's still very good we just don't have an infinite loop anymore so we got firebolt into uh, just two points just to go to the next one. We're doing Frozen Orb, of course, our main skill, all the way up to Greater Frozen Orb. Now, when you first start using this skill, you may not be like, mana is always an issue until you solve it with like, you know, affixes on your gear or you get prodigies or umbral or stuff like that to really help. So until then, if you have mana issues, just do Destructive Frozen Orb. It explosions will give you five mana when hitting a frozen enemy super good it makes the flow of the build feel much better but if you have mana under control do greater this helps frozen uh not only freeze enemies but it makes them vulnerable okay uh now we're going to come down oh we have uh, one point in devastation for more mana three points into elemental dominance for even more damage then we got flame shield up into shimmering flame shield for invulnerability teleport to shimmering teleport for dr uh, we got one point into elemental attunement to help reset one of our three defensive skills we got maxed out glass cannon right now for more damage we got ice armor with just uh enhanced ice armor into shimmering ice armor just to help reset uh we're doing now we do need our conjurations here guys and they're also going to be on our bar so we got ice blades into summon ice blades for cooldown we got lightning spear into invoked lightning spear for the stun aspect which is huge we max out conjuration oh we're actually missing one i'm gonna take the point out of that there we go max out conjuration mastery for even more damage and mana regeneration this is really gonna help we got one point to align the elements and then we max out mana shield and protection next we come down and grab one point in inner flames and we're grabbing three ranks in devouring blaze for even more crit damage because they changed this from season three now it's if they are crowd controlled which in this build super easy to do we chill them with our frozen orbs we stun them with our lightning spears super easy to do right and then we even stun on our teleport next we come down we're taking three points into permafrost for more damage three points into icy touch for more damage against vulnerable enemies and then horror frost for even more damage and then more importantly this is where this is the skill frigid breeze where you're going to take this away once you have mana under control so we max out frigid breeze because on a lucky hit yes i know frozen orb has a very low lucky hit but that's okay all the explosions and all the conjurations and everything that we're throwing out onto the field lucky hit actually procs pretty good so this has a chance to generate 15 mana which really helps kind of the flow and the sustain of the build because frozen orb does cost a lot of mana it is 35 which is a big a big drawback but uh now into our key passive we're always doing avalanche because on a lucky hit we get a free cast and it does a lot more damage uh so but if you do want to go like a little bit more aoe and just destroy stuff you could do shatter if you really want but avalanche is the better the better skill into our enchantment slots we got firebolt here for more burning damage which really helps us with devouring blaze and then we of course we have frozen orb because this has whenever we cast a non-basic which is everything we have a chance to launch another free frozen orb so it's just even more damage even more mana regeneration with free frigid breeze as well as just uh, uh yeah just frigid breeze i'm sorry i have greater but yeah that is the uh skills that we have here we're gonna go over the gear pieces and some of the changes that you're gonna need for the build 
So in her helmet, we got the brand new uh, Concentration Power. I've been really excited about playing this. So whenever you cast a Conjuration, remember you have to cast it. This isn't when Frozen Orb triggers it. You have to cast it. You get damage reduction for five seconds. So we have both of these on here. So effectively we get 32% damage reduction for five seconds, super strong. Uh, then we have Remnant of the Infinite. Okay, Raymonds, we found this. This is best in slot um, at the time because whenever we teleport, we're gonna stun, which is huge. Now, if you do not have Raymonds, then you could do Ever Living. Okay, Ever Living is super strong. It's gonna reduce uh, damage that you take from crowd control enemies. So I would throw that in there. You could also do the one where it makes ice armor uh, unstoppable. In our glove slot, of course, we got Frozen Orbit. Um, exploiters, I'm testing exploiters. I really do enjoy exploiters, um, but you could put another defensive skill here like Juggernaut or Disobedience. Um, but right now, my armor's fine. It's at 5,000, and I really like the Unstoppable when we do the increased damage, which is really good against elites and stuff. Then we got Esus. If you don't have Esus, what I would say is you go in and just throw in Ghost Walk like um, Ghost Walkers or uh, Conduit, where you get more speed after teleporting. Any one of those is fine. Then we got Storm Swell for even more damage. We got Conceited for even more damage. Then, of course, we're doing Prodigies. I really need to find a higher level of this. But Prodigies early on will help you sustain because everything is a cooldown. And it just gives you more mana back for free. Then we got Tal Rashes. Now, if you don't have Tal Rashes, because Tal Rashes is one of the best in slot uh, gear pieces, this is where you would put Umbral in. Umbral paired with prodigies in the earlier game like stages in world tier three to world tier four That will sustain all of your mana. You will have no issues uh, next fracture fracture glass, which is just the The engine of the entire build if you do not have fracture glass. This is what I'm gonna tell you to do Take frozen orbit. You're gonna put it in the amulet and then in your glove slot This is totally up to you, you can swap it for anything you could have it be acceleration for more attack speed. You could have it be anything that you want it to be. It's kind of a free slot, um, uh, at least in the beginning. So that's what I would do with Fracture Glass. Now let's go over uh, Paragon board real quick, guys. Then I want to do a, just a little showcase here for you. So the first couple boards, and I'm going to have the link down to this, uh, to the Mobilitics profile for you guys, but we're doing uh, Elementalist, pretty standard here. Then we're going into Reinforce, which is really good to give us some more damage reduction. And then we are taking uh, Ice Fall for even more vulnerable damage. And then we're taking Control. So the Paragon board will be up until this third board, guys, uh, for version one. And then as I'm working on version two, as we get into the later stages, I'll update that for you guys. So uh, it's pretty standard Paragon board. It's very easy to do. The build is just... You, you, I mean, I know you guys have seen it, but the build just... We just destroy stuff. Super easy. Boom. So let's go do like a quick Nightmare Dungeon. These are gonna be 92s. So let's just go do this Nightmare Dungeon real quick, just to showcase the build a little bit and how it plays. It's uh, it's very, very satisfying. Like, um, I, I loved playing it in the PTR because you had so many Conjurations everywhere. You could get up to like 25 Conjurations or more. Now it's really not that many. It's kind of a bummer because we don't have the infinite loop. But all we're going to do is just dash in. We're going to throw frozen orbs everywhere and just destroy everything. The uh, But the build, works, the build works the same. The build works the same. Uh, it's just unfortunate that we don't have the loop anymore. I'm not sure why or how that was a bug or what actually happened with that. But um, the build is still really, really strong. It's still going to be one of the top builds for the Sorcerer. So for all my Sork Mains out there watching this video... You guys are still really going to enjoy this build. I mean, ever since I got the Fractured Winter Glass, you know, I've really just been, you know, dominating everything that I'm doing, which is just fantastic. And I didn't even, I haven't even popped a, a potion yet. I haven't even popped the Unholy Might potion, which is just completely busted, by the way. The potion is dumb. But yeah, guys, you can see we just, we just walk through content. This, this build will also just destroy everything in a, in a group of four. We were farming yesterday with our full party in our community. It was fantastic. We got to find all the idols here. But the crowd control aspect of the build is really just amazing, right? Like, it's, it, just, it just really changes how you play the game. 
One thing they re the devs really need to do is fix how we can just like seamlessly cast our spells. Because I feel at times I am, I am like waiting around for like a spell to be cast. In particular, my ice blades. But I'm not even gonna grab artillery shrine just because we don't need it. Just so you guys can see the the potential to build. I don't even want to corrupt it. I know some people are particular. They'll be like, "War, you used a artillery shrine. That build's not that good." You know how they are. You know how they are, guys. One more. Now, against bosses, it's a little bit... Like, the build is, is very strong against bosses. The issue is, is that, like, because we don't get the AoE aspects of destroying multiple monsters and we can get or generate our mana back, um, you know, if, if we're not doing sufficient damage against, you know, a boss, then it's, it, it is going to take a little bit to kill because we got to wait for our cooldowns on our... On our skills to be able to uh you know replenish that mana but otherwise the build just slaps the build slaps it flexes everything in the game uh so far i can't wait to get to like the end game and see how well this does against like the uber bosses and stuff i mean that's going to be really interesting all right i really hate that this is surviving enemy attack We definitely need some more attack speed on the build. But yeah, guys, you can see how, like, tanky we are. Especially with the concentration. That damage reduction is really nice. It's like having um, Might on just without having to cast a basic skill. Which is kind of nice. Come here, Keeper. Give me the key. Oh, we got time to prepare it, all right. Okay, let's go kill the boss. But yeah, the build is very, very satisfying, guys. Even without Fractured Glass, the build still slaps. You will see a huge damage increase. Um, the biggest cool, the biggest thing about this build is like how fast we can like stagger an enemy as well. But yeah, the build is just it just slaps, man. And we don't even have any glyphs to 15 yet. So yeah, guys, that is Frozen Orb. This is version one. I'm going to update the build as we go along so you guys can go and update all your stuff right along with me. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like on this. Let's try to get this over 50 likes, maybe even 100. Maybe we can pump it up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the build. Catch you guys next time. Peace.